is, has Ford seen any drop in demand now that gas prices have dropped so drastically? Because drop. that's been a huge concern for me. Drop in demand for what? Of more fuel-efficient vehicles. Because, I mean, I, I mean, like we were saying, I've always want, I have always wanted fuel-efficient vehicles as an option when I buy a car. But now that we have dropped prices, are people still going to have that demand? I'm really concerned about that because I really don't want our country to go back to old ways. Have you guys seen any drop in demand? <laughs> The sad fact of the matter is, yes, we have. Uh, and we've seen demand for trucks and SUVs go up because the American public are fickle. You know, they go where their pocketbook tells them to go. Um, but that hasn't changed our overall strategy because we know it's a reality that gas prices will rise again, and we need to be ahead of the curve this time. Um, and somebody asked Alan uh, Mullally, you know, if you had known uh, two years ago where the economy was going, would you have changed your plans? And he said, no way. This is the absolute right plan for the company. And we have finally found our way. And we're going to stick to it. Regardless of, you know, whether the gas prices go up or down, this is the right way to go. This is why we're pursuing a strategy of electrification, of hybrids, you know, gas electric hybrids, um, of plug-in electrical hybrids, because we don't have a comprehensive energy policy in this, in this country right now. And until we do, we need to be prepared for it in any possible way. So we will continue on making more small cars. We're going to shift our, our balance. It's traditionally been 70% pickups and SUVs. We're going to shift it to 60% cars and trucks within the next year. I mean, 60% cars and crossovers within the next year. So we're going to stick to that. It works in Europe. It works in Asia.